Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing some more Spore. You meet me back in the universe where today we're going to try and expand our operations slightly. Now we're going to try and find a planet which has probably some form of good spice on it, such as pink or purple, because that's going to allow us to start selling and making a lot more money than we currently have. Hello Modivore Empire, I've come back, I want to recharge and repair, and also, I've only got one spice, no point in selling this to them. Now there's a few things that I want to upgrade as well. Ideally, today I'd like to get to the next stage of the promotions, but it depends how we go. I mean, we might not do anything that actually gives us any of those rewards, any of the medals, so we might have to play it by ear. But first of all, I would really like the Mini Pulse. Last time we did get the Mini Bomb, but the Mini Pulse is going to be particularly good against ground targets. The Mini Bomb is probably actually going to be fine for now. In fact, it's going to be more than sufficient to take on uh, vehicles and buildings on the ground. Do vehicles even attack you from the ground on planets? I wasn't aware that that was a thing, but whatever. We also probably want to get the Interstellar Drive too, and also we need to get another colony in Credipack, mostly because that is our mission at the moment, to try and place down another uh, star system colony. So what we're going to do is we're going to go about the place, try and discover a few more quests that we can do. Obviously we did a couple for the Pink Empire. The Cyan Empire is still very angry with us and keeps coming back to life, or keeps colonising that one star that we destroy each time. So I'm not going to bother doing that again and again. Now what we're looking for really is another alien species. Hello there. So these guys are neutral, so we might be able to make friends with them. Well, let's open communications. I'm from Modivore. I come in peace. All beings of true spiritual worth wish for nothing more than peace, harmony, and a distant chorus of angel voices, man. Oh my god, it's another one of these guys. And actually, this kind of looks like a turtle again. <laughs> okay, well, let's do some diplomacy with them. How are they at the moment? They're just above the middle ground, so they're fairly neutral. Uh, let's Oh, oh, we'll learn about your philosophy, but I think we already know. That's very fascinating. Thank you for telling me again. Let's, let's get a mission from them. Is there anything that he's doing? According to our legends, a mystery world nearby is a mis metaphysical twin to our world here on Goli, except that we lack the mystical llama. <laughs> I'm sorry? Could you find one for us? How do I get there? Unfortunately, the spirit world has been a little vague in concerning the exact lo location of the llama. Here's what we know. The star is two to three parsecs from the red star named Athopa, and the planet is named Ukami. Okay, just stop talking. Yeah, just stop talking, for God's sake. Okay, uh, well, I don't know where that's going to be. We're probably going to get a little hint from the map. So we're looking for a planet called Ukami. Oh God, we just stumbled into another nation that aren't particularly happy with us. Close! Be prepared to bow before the might of Spode. Okay, well, we might go down there and just talk to them quickly before they start mullering our spaceship. Hello, I come in peace. Uh, they just don't like us. It is an honour. Oh, well, at least they're neutral now. That means they're not going to attack us, thankfully. So let's just leave them in their nice neutrality, and hopefully they won't attack us anymore. Run out of juice, so we're going to have to go back home and get powered up again. I swear to God, didn't recharging normally cost nothing at the home planet? I am at the home planet, aren't I? Okay, yeah, so why why is it costing me money? Well, either way, it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, there's another nation over here, the Yellow Nation. Well, to be honest, I'm having a bit of a problem finding this place. Let's just accept this transmission. You're in an area of space governed by the Grand Council. Welcome! Hello! Maybe we should go and introduce ourselves, because I think sometimes that makes them a bit angry if you don't do that. Well, we're meeting lots of new friends. I come in peace. Hello there, we like new acquaintances. It's an honour. So, what we could probably do is say, um, I'd like to establish a trade route. It'd benefit both of our civilizations. Perfect. What have you got for sale? Anything good? Interstellar Drive 2 is only 75,000. That might be useful. It is very cheap. I did say that I wanted to get that this episode, so whatever. That seems good to me. We can go a bigger distance now. Look at this. Our circle has grown massively, actually. What is this? This looks like an interesting formation. Is it too? It's a binary star system. Oh, I love binary star systems. We found a galactic formation. Oh, yeah. This is such a cool game. I really love all the little things they have hidden about. What we're going to do is we're going to jump down here. They said it's two to three parsecs from this place, but... Oh, Yukami! There it is. And we actually just got a badge because I've been flying around so much. <laughs> okay, Yukami. Spike Law Empire. Sighting of an item where blah 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 on the planet named Yukami. Now, is this wise to be taking from the Spike Law Empire? When they're just neutral with us? I feel like this is a poor choice. But you know what? It's okay. We're going to go over here. Hopefully they won't mind us taking their priceless artifact. Seems like it's just this thing here. Hopefully they won't mind. 
Did they mind me taking that? I hope they didn't. They didn't seem like they did anything. We distrust strangers. Okay, well, they didn't mind that much then. What we're going to do is we're going to head back to these people, make friends with them. I thought we'd made friends with the Pink Nation already, but apparently not. Well, either way, let's talk to them. Admiral Modivore, you've found Planet Yukami. Excellent. Soon we'll be so close to the light you're going to need shades. No trouble at all. Let's trade with them. Oh, well, we can sell this spice to them. Not that they really need it that much. Whatever. We've also got a colony and credit pack here for 75,000. So if we bear that in mind, have we actually got any artifacts we can sell? It doesn't look like it. We need to colonise one more star system. I'd really like to get that mission done. Okay, so they're happy with us. Cyan Nation is not happy with us. And actually, is that another formation over there that we can go and visit? It looks like it. What is this? Very weird looking. A sightseer badge. So it's a, another binary star system, but this one has a big star and a small star. And lots of planets where the textures haven't loaded in properly. <laughs> but that's cool. And actually, is this a nebula here? Can we visit this nebula? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, either way, we're going to head home, recharge up again, and then take another mission from the Spike Law Empire. Oh my god, look how much these are worth! 89,000 for pink spice! Okay, well, we're definitely going to sell that to our home base, and actually we can get that colony and credit pack now from the other people, because it was really cheap. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's go over here to the Purple Empire, zoom in, get our colony and credit pack, and try and find some more pink spice, because that sounds incredibly useful. So let's buy that. We're also going to sell our red spice here, because it's not really worth that much to us. And say goodbye to these lovely folk. Now, an alternative way of doing this mission would be to buy this empire here, the Mantia Empire. But in fact, what we could do is just go straight for these people. Well, let's travel around here and see what's about, because if there's a nice place with a, a big purple spice geezer on here, we, we can just claim ourselves. Then we'll go for that. And to be honest, there, it doesn't seem like there is. So we might just go for this one, because it has got this pink spice planet. It is in the cold region, which is a bit unfortunate. And there's actually a signal coming from that planet over there. Now, where is this pink place? It's over this way. So it's going to be a bit harder for us to terraform. It seems like a bit of a risk, but then if we get really rewarded for having these uh, pink spice geezers... And actually, there's a few uh, pink spice geezers really close to each other down here. So it might be worth doing it, because we can put it right down in the middle of these... SAR system already has a sentient species. Oh, damn. Okay, well, maybe what we should do then. So you can't actually inhabit the same star system as a species that's already there. Okay, that's interesting. What we could do then is wipe out the civilization on this planet and take over this star system for ourselves, which seems a bit evil, but then we will get pink spice. So I think we might well do that. In this day and age of the universe, you need to prioritize what you need. One city is down. I don't know whether they're going to drop anything from this, actually. It doesn't look like they are. By the way, I'm going to now take out this city and pretty much all of the others in this star system. Some really funky-looking buildings on here. They're, like, really colourful. <laughs> they're quite nice, actually. They look like they've been like made by a child or something, though. And look at all these air vehicles that are over there. What even are those? Looks like a, a tower or, like, a dog of some kind. Let's go and investigate after we've taken out this city. There we go. Yeah, what are these things? They're sort of like... I'm not even sure. That is very weird, isn't it? Okay, what we are going to do is we can steal the spice from this place. Let's grab this up. And hopefully, it should be a good one. It's only red spice, but to be honest, some nations do take the red spice for quite a nice amount of money. So it would still be worth taking these guys on. I was going to say, I don't think these cities can fight back, but it looks like they can. Unfortunately, we are taking a bit of damage here. Our, space our friendly spaceship in the Allied fleet is doing basically nothing. So what I think I might do is I might use... Have I got one of those repair packs here? Let's just repair quickly. And then once we've done this, it shouldn't be a problem taking on any of these other cities. This one's actually already under attack by Yellow. Unfortunately, I'm going to destroy it before Yellow can have it. But that's their problem. At the end of the day, I need to worry about what's best for our empire. And if having a pink spice area like that, which we can sell back to our own home planet, is going to give us that much money on a regular basis, then I'm definitely going to take it. Okay, so just three more cities, and then we'll be done here. It seems a bit of a shame to destroy a nation before they even get to the space stage. But at the same time, it might save us some hassle, because if they get to the space stage and they're really unfriendly, then we're going to end up having to deal with them anyway. So we might as well take them out before it happens. If there's less people around us in our home area, it's going to be easier for us to defend it in the future. 
Or, realistically, if we only make enemies with people that are far away, it's going to be harder for them to take on our hometown. Or our home planet now, I should say. I'm used to saying hometown because we've only just come out of the civilization stage. And actually, we've got so much spice from this. 20 red spice. If we find a planet that wants some red spice quite dearly, then we're going to be in for some good money. And this is the last town, last city on this planet. So hopefully, after this, we should be able to inhabit this star system. We don't have enough energy. Oh, you need energy to do this. Okay, well, let's finish them off with our ground laser. Oh, no, we don't even have enough energy for that. Okay, well, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? So let's now fly back home. What? Hostile aliens attacking home planet? All right, let's go home and help these people. I didn't realise they were doing that. Well, hopefully our defences are going to be quite good. We have to go in, though, but we haven't got any energy. How is this even going to work? Oh, we'll have to recharge with another star system first, won't we? Okay, some really funky stuff happened with the game, and it crashed, and basically now this star system, although it is the same star system, has a different configuration of planets, and it rolled back that we destroyed that civilization. However, <laughs> aside from that, I've managed to get everything I had before, silly game, so what we're going to do is we're going to place down a colony on this planet. Unfortunately, they don't have any spice ge geezers that are like incredibly close together. I think the most we're going to be able to do is two in this one. Uh, like this, which is okay. I mean, it's not amazing. Is there another one around here that we can just clip? Don't think it's quite in range, but that's okay. We can put down these two and hopefully this will get us some much needed pink spice, which is going to be very helpful in the future because if we can sell our pink spice to our home planet for about whatever it was, like 30,000 per pink spice, then that is going to be very helpful indeed. So we're going to have to make regular trips back to this planet. Oh, look at this. Empire 1 expanded to three solar systems. Got a drought generator and atmosphere generator. Ionic singularity missiles and orbs of doom. We've already got orbs of doom. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to upgrade the terror score of this planet just because I want to make it a bit more settled. Increase the spice production by in increasing the uh, terror score as well. So yeah, that's my plan. Because for now, we can't actually do anything to this colony. So we're going to have to head home and try and figure out... Actually, we should have a little look at what the atmosphere is like here. Because if we only need, like, one drought generator or whatever, then it's going to be very good. So we actually only need, looking at this, uh, a temperature increaser. Now, if we get that, we should be okay. Because I think we've got a cargo hold full of random plants. We've got large, small, herbivore, medium, omnivore... And carnival. Perfect. Okay, so let's do that. Right, so we're going to return home and complete the mission, because they might give us something that we want anyway. Excellent work! With all these colonies to harvest resources, we've put our empire in a strong position. But that doesn't mean we're done. This is just the beginning. This empire has got to keep growing if we're going to explore the whole galaxy. Before I go, can I have a recharge? And also, I'm going to trade with you, because I think... Do you have one? A meteor shower. That's what we need. What's this attack? Alien spaceships are attacking our colony. Oh dear god. Okay, well let's go and save them. It's probably, to be honest, the Cyan Empire, which is to be expected at this point in time. They're not very friendly people. Actually, no, it is just pirates. Well, look at that. That's quite lucky. Let's go straight to our colony, because it looks like they're right on top of it. I think that's over here somewhere. We need to put down a few turrets on this place, don't we? Okay, well, let's take out the mothership first, because once the mothership's gone, all the drones should hopefully start disbanding. And if not, they're quite simple to kill. All of that money that they dropped. We'll pick that up in a minute, but for now, let's just take out the other ship. Once the threat's gone, I'll feel a lot happier. And actually, we're taking like, a lot of damage from these people. Surprising how much damage such a small ship can do. suppose we could do a bit more dodging, but to be honest, we're just heavily outnumbered by all these small drones. And not doing too much damage, so I'm not too concerned. What's it going to trade? Do you want our red spice? Doesn't look like they want our red spice. What we could do with, actually, is an energy upgrade, or even just another... Another health upgrade would be good. Let's say goodbye to them, pick up some of this money. Hopefully it's going to be quite a notable amount of money. 37 and 18? Well, that is quite good, isn't it? Okay, well, let's grab all those other piles of money on the other side of the planet. It looks like there's another one over here. Oh yeah, there it is. It's hidden in the bushes. That we don't really want to pick up. 32,000! Blimey! I think it's quite good, actually, when the aliens raid your place, because it feels like they generate far too much money <laughs> that they drop. I mean, look at this. We're on 36... I mean, look at this. We've got 366,000. 
That is mental. So let's greet them, see if they've got anything that we can buy. I mean, we could get our ice storm or uh, meteor shower from them right now, and also get the energy storage and a basic cargo hold upgrade, but I know for a fact that we can actually get these cheaper from another nation. So let's go over here. Have you got anything that we want? Let's trade with them. We actually sell these for 13,000 each as well, which is kind of crazy. So we're going to grab one of these meteor showers because they're only 75,000. What's your energy storage? That's okay. Let's see. Let's just see first whether other people have it a bit cheaper. It's worth shopping around in this game to save a lot of money. Okay, so we've got 150,000, but the basic cargo hold is a lot cheaper. So let's buy that. And we could actually get the Orbs of Doom and also the Mini Pulse, although these aren't particularly useful. I feel as though medium energy storage would help us more. And it is 150,000. Should we just see if then there's another nation that's going to have it a bit cheaper? These uh, lavender people might have it a bit cheaper than the uh, pinks. So let's grab their attention. Hello, nice to see you. Have you got anything I want? Got a colony and credit pack for only 75,000, which is pretty damn good. Actually, none of this is very useful. Crop circles. Let's say goodbye to them. Oh my god, look at this! 269,000 for this pink spice. I think I definitely made the right choice in getting that pink spice planet. Okay, well, where is it? Let's go for the medium energy storage. It seems like they've all increased their price, but to be honest, I've just got so much money, I don't even care anymore. So we're going to grab that, and we might as well... Should we get one of these terrain changes? I don't think we really need to. might be helpful if we're going to inhabit some more planets in the future with colonies, because then we can put... We've got more choice. We can change the terrain to how we want it, so we can place the, uh, the city down without any problems. Yellow ink... I think this is fine. We don't want to do this too much. And what is that badge? A Merchant One badge. Okay, well, let's go and beef up this planet slightly. Hopefully, this is going to be all we need to increase the Terra score. So let's get our tool out, Planet Atmospheric Tools, Meteor Shower. Now, let me just make sure that I've got this right. So we want it to go to the right-hand side. Okay, so we'll do the Meteor Shower over this way. And then... As soon as this is down, we're going to put down some small plants and other stuff. I really hope this is going to take it in the right direction. It seems to be... Yeah, there we go. It's taking it to the right. It should move it into the T1 score. Maybe. Oh, it's already down to two arrows. I think because this planet is not in the Goldilocks zone of the star in this system, it's going to make it a bit more difficult to do. But hopefully it's going to change it enough. If not, I'm going to run home and quickly get another one of these because it's going to be worth it if we can get this into T1. And it actually looks like it isn't going to make it into T1. It might just clip it. If it just clips it, that's going to be good enough. I should probably just wait to see what happens. There's a load of ocean forming on the planet. Nope, okay, it's not going to make it. So we're going to have to go and get another one of these atmosphere generators. Unfortunately, it's going to take a bit more because it is in the blue zone. But once it's sorted out, it should make it a little bit easier to improve, hopefully. <laughs> Alien ships are attacking our planet Modi Stan. Let's just say hello to these people first. Grab one of these meteor showers. Where are they? I know it's a bit more expensive here, but to be honest, I just need to do this really quickly. I think our home planet should be okay. Alien ships are raiding our town, but it's all right. So let's just shove this one down again really quick to try and drag this back before it goes away. We've caught this just in time. I think it's going to be difficult, though. I think we probably need to do two of these at once. So let's just have a little look at this. This should definitely take it into the T1. Right, quickly put down the plants. Stabilize. Stabilize, stabilize. We got, uh, what was that? We need a medium plant. Okay, let's do this. Incoming transmission from the Yobert Empire. Okay, this has probably been stabilized enough now. So let's just put down our herbivores and then head back to the home planet because I don't want to risk things too much. Okay, so we've got one of those down. We probably want a an omnivore. Will that do? I think that will probably do. Omnivore down. Oh, okay, that's not going to do. And then we want another herbivore. Have we got a mage? I'm not sure if we've got a mage. But we're going to try it out. Okay, there we go. Terra score has been stabilised. Let's now go back home. If we lose all of our cities. Trade routes eventually yield the option to buy the planet. Okay, that's fine. We're going to hurry back home. We don't really want to buy their planet just yet. But we'll set up another trade route with them because it'll be good for our spice. And let's go in here. Try and save our planet. Look at those bloody Cyan Nation. I'm going to be really annoyed. Where are they? It is bloody Cyan Nation as well. Luckily, they only have 250 health. And I think, are our cities firing at them? I think they might be. 
Okay, where's this other attack vessel? Luckily, they've dropped a load of money as well. And our cities are firing back. Look at this. We're well defended. Got lasers. They're not going to have an easy time taking over our planet. The alien raiders are no longer attacking. Thank God for that. But let's pick up all the money they dropped. Hopefully, it's a sizable amount. 29,000. And there should be some more over this way somewhere. Where are they? Here we go. Two lots. 54,000. Very nice indeed. So let's now talk to our people. We're a true hero. We are indeed. Thank you very much. Okay, have we unlocked anything else right now that we can do? Doesn't really look like it. We can actually buy all of these for nothing. I think it's just basically picking them up. Uh, we'll say goodbye, though. There's nothing else we really need to do here. We could talk to the Yobert Empire. I don't really know if I want another planet yet. We can talk to them, though. Some of our settlement projects are taking longer to come into fruition than we expected. Would you care to help us out by purchasing our star system Mantia? Not sure about it. We're going to go over here, though, and start improving our planet even more to increase the spice production. Because I think without houses on the planet, you don't really produce any. You produce it so slowly, you might as well not have a civilization on here. Or a settlement. Okay, so let's grab all of our generic structures quickly. And then we can start sorting out the empire slightly here. Our ship is actually in the way a little bit, but that's okay. So we want to put down a factory for sure. We're going to put down a house like this, and possibly another house over here. Now we do have to worry about our star system being unhappy, so it might be worth just grabbing one of these here, putting another house, something like that, maybe another house like that as well. Three happiness, and if we can, I'd like to put down another factory over this way. It's going to give us 66 per hour. That's pretty much the max that we can do. I don't know, if, is there a better way that I can lay this out? But for now, I think that's okay. The terror score is too low to defend this any better. But we also want to give it some vehicles, because it's nice to have a few vehicles on the planet flying about. So there we go. Perfect. Terror score 1. Oh yeah. Now what do we actually need to do to improve this further? We need to give it heat, but also give it less atmosphere, because the atmosphere is too thick. Right. Well, I don't think we need to worry too much right now, but it's creating 66 pink spice per hour in the game, which is going to be very helpful indeed. So we don't need to worry about that. We can just check back here now and again, get our pink spice in. In fact, I'm feeling like I want to go and take on the home planet of these other people. See if we can get any of our allies to go and attack them as well. That might be useful. Thank you for receiving me. Let's repair and recharge. And do we want anything else? Are we going to lose anything by attacking them? Probably not. We can wipe out at least their colony in the meantime, slow them down a little bit again, because then they'll be on the back foot. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Because we've got better weapons, a bit more health now, and some more energy. Better weapons to take on a ground nation anyway. So we've actually got two civilizations down here, two cities. It's going to take it, make it a bit harder to wipe out this civilization. But hopefully we can do this okay. Okay, we've lost our ally, unfortunately. And this city has surrendered to us, so I think maybe, should we just keep destroying it? I'm not sure, maybe we should just go for the other one. Actually, they're shooting quite a bit at us, aren't they? But we can hit this from orbit, so it should be okay. And if we take another hit from somewhere, it's going to get a bit tricky. Yeah, I think we might die here, unfortunately. We have died, but we can go back straight away and hopefully take them out. It's a bit more difficult than I thought to take these planets over. Let's head straight back there. It doesn't cost us anything to revive ourselves. Here we go. You can't resist us. We're going to teach you who's boss. We could capture the system or we could destroy these cities. To be honest, I don't really want to capture it because we have no need for any more civilizations right now. No more settlements. So we're just going to wipe them out. That one's running away. Damn right you're going to run away. So let's just take these ones out. So let's pick up their spice and their money, 49,000, and let's go back to their other city. Unfortunately, I think it is going to be quite difficult to capture their home planet, but there's not really much that we can do about that right now. We're just going to have to wait around until we have enough forces to really show them what for. There we go, a few more hits, and their civilization will be wiped out. Well, not entirely, but at least we've got their planet. Still their spice and resource as well. Got some purple spice, I'm not how... Not sure how expensive purple spice is, but look at all this money. Hopefully some of this is a lot. Oh wow, yeah, that was quite a lot. Well, I'm not sure how well we're going to fare against their home planet. Hopefully at some point we'll have enough allies and enough weaponry or perhaps health to take them out entirely. But for now, unfortunately... Oh wow, look, the, their planet is being attacked by raiders. Well, let's go and help them out in, in the meantime. A lot of killing today. 
the Obert Empire is now under attack by pirates and other people. It's not going well for anyone. But the Obert Empire, they've been good to us, so we should definitely go and help them if we can. I'd like some upgrades for my proton cannon, actually. Maybe an upgrade to the ground bomb as well. That might be helpful. So there we go. They are defending themselves quite nicely here. It's quite a big pirate attack looking at it. Quite a few motherships. One left, and then we'll go and pick up all of their resources as well. And we should have a pretty big amount of money, a big stockpile, that we can start upgrading our weapon systems with. I think this one's trying to run away, escape orbit. But you're not getting away, pirate scum. You do not attack our civilization. Bodyguard 1, look at this, defended two friends from an attack. Proton missile. Is that the one we wanted? Mi minor proton missile. Yes, that is an upgrade. We'll probably be able to afford this as well. Especially with all this money that these guys have dropped. And after all of that, we have almost 500,000 spore bucks. That is crazy. And look, we can even sell all of this to them for even more. This pink spice is giving us so much money. And what we're going to do is we're probably going to upgrade... Have they got the upgrade here? It doesn't look like they do. We might have to buy it from our home planet. We could get the Orbs of Doom, or we could get a large energy storage, which would be good. And actually, one other thing that I'd definitely like to get is an upgrade to our health. The health would be very good indeed. Actually, can, is there such a thing as shields? I don't think there is shields in this, is there? That's okay, though. Let's go home, see what we've got. We can start taking on the Cyan Nation. I want to wipe them out at some point. Our Proton Missile Upgrade is 400,000, but look how much money we've got. We almost don't need to worry. Let's buy this from them. I know we probably could have got it cheaper from someone else, but for now, I think that's fine. What we could actually do is improve the terror score of that other planet because we have so much money. We should increase our Pink Spice production, and in the future, get us even more money. Oh wow, and look at all this, the pink spice that I picked up from our other colony is worth 44,000. Wow, we're over a million already, look at this. And we've got an upgrade to the ship, which was another one of our missions today. I feel like we've really progressed this episode. Got so much, congratulations, you've earned the title of Celebrated. Your promotion means that you may now lead a larger allied fleet. Oh yeah! Okay, let's have a little look at what they've got to trade now. Now, there's a load of stuff here that we could ask for. We get an energy upgrade, because it hardly costs anything. But I think this is probably... We could even pay off this empire to stop attacking us. That might be an idea. And they've actually already established this colony again. Let's see how much they want. Because if they want a ridiculous sum of money, if it's only 136, I'd rather them be neutral with us. Hello! Um, they want 609. Damn it. Okay, well that's going to be a bit tricky. But what we can do in the meantime is maybe speak to these people and ask them whether they'll go to war. And this is actually a lot cheaper here, large energy storage, so I might just go straight for that anyway. And I have loads of weapon capacity, and we can also talk about diplomacy. I'd like you to attack someone. Go for the Kronky Empire! Kronky, that is definitely them, isn't it? Spike Law and Minor Empire. Kronky, yes it is. Okay, well we'll get them to attack those people then. And hopefully this should be good. And get all of our allies on our side, then it's going to get a lot easier. I'd like one of your ships, but I'd also like you attack the Kronky Empire. 54,000? Yeah, sure. Here's your, um, here's your money. I'm going to like get some mercenaries in here now. So is it just that single colony that's going to attack them, or is it the entire empire? Greetings. Diplomacy, I'd like you to attack someone. Kronky Empire. I think the attack is in progress already. Thank you. So it looks like they will only attack colonies rather than the home planet, which I suppose does make a lot of sense. But for now, this seems like a good place to leave this episode. If you enjoyed today's episode and our progress, then please feel free to leave a support in the comment section below. Just leave ratings and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.